I'm going to suggest that you, when I get to the destiny updates, that you just watch me. And then if you need to do things, you will need to do things later. Just rewatch it. And because if you if you try to do it as I'm saying it, it's going to be too hard. Okay. So first, if you go to manti.com on your cell phone or another, you can also open another tab. Okay, so that, that is totally up to you, but go to manti.com and use this code here, 89606655. So go to manti.com and use the 89606651. And when you'll, you'll be there, you'll see at the bottom, there's those three little dots. That's to write comments if on a specific slide that I'm going to be presenting. And if you really like it, you can put a little heart and it, it shows a little heart. And just be aware that everybody sees your comments, okay? So my first thing is your summer in one word. So if you go to your phone and you're in Manti right now. Okay, so I have carries here. You go and enter that code. Yes. Perfect, thank you. So, uh, so what was your summer like in one word? Oh, I like, yeah, short. Purple, purple school, that's nice. So I should have about 20 people, 26 people answering. I only have 13 here. And when you're done, don't turn off your phone. It's gonna, we're gonna do four questions and it's gonna be a little bit of a contest. Whoever wins at the end is going to get, oh, I forgot how much, I think it's a hundred dollar extra, okay? So I'm gonna be asking questions along the way and whoever wins gonna get a hundred bucks extra. up to I like it you guys have very positive words packed worthwhile nice so I'm at 19 people so I'm a little bit short but we're going to start so I'm going to be presenting about uh, destiny updates and such so I'm going to try to keep it as um so it makes sense but there's a lot of back and forth and especially between um usernames because I have to show you under admin. I also have to show you under as a patron. So it does get slightly, a little bit confusing, I think sometimes, but I am trying to keep it that it makes sense. So I'm just gonna, I don't know if you've gone to Destiny at all this summer, but Destiny Discover has changed quite a bit. So they've gotten rid of all their themes and they've turned this Destiny Discover into just this one big dark, a theme. They are bringing in three new themes coming up in a couple next couple of months. There's going to be a fish, a space, and then a white or light team theme. So, but this part right now, this is what it looks like. And I know a lot of librarians don't like it because the only the search button right here is just this little um, eyeglass thing, and um, a lot of teachers, a lot of librarians don't like it. So they are going to bring again back the search bar here. But so. Um, this Destiny Discover, of course, is for the students to search. Okay, so that is not our what we're going to use mostly. But if you do really like how it looks, I'm going to show you how to turn it into for your default. So I'm clicking back office to go back to our Destiny Classic. And I'm going to log in with our admin username and password. And to make turn it into your default where a guest is going to click on your Destiny link and is going to go straight to it, you're going to go to admin. And you're going to go to uh, site configuration, sorry, sorry, access, access level. So if you want your guest to just click on it and get right to it, I'm going to go to guest and you're going to click here, use destiny discover by default. I apologize. So admin access level and I click guest and use as a default. So I'm going to click save and what's going to happen Back to the main page here. Oops. I'm going to click this and because I have it as a default, it goes straight into it. All right. So if you like that, that's how you do it. Uh, admin access level and um, 
Now it's super complicated because I need to go back to, I don't wanna show it like that. I wanna go back to the classic and remove that. And if you do have questions, please use a chat, but you can also unmute yourself because not, we're not that many people here. So access level, and I'm going to, oh God, it's, I need to log in as admin. So that's the problem. It just goes right back to this and I don't like this. I'm gonna go back to admin and I'm gonna cancel it. So if you do choose to go that, this route here, you have, the learning resources that you will need to add, okay? Because you'll notice we all have on this page, all of these. So if you're gonna use Destiny Discover, you need to add all of these links to your homepage. And um, cancel it. So now you know exactly how to see it. So how do you do this? First, I have, um, I'm gonna share this little document I created here. This is the resources for today. And I'm gonna put it in the chat and I think it should work. So this is my document with all my resources I'm gonna be using, okay? So I've created this little uh, logos for learning link. And these are all the little logos that you can use. All right, to create this learning resource page. So I'm gonna go back to Destiny Discover. All right, and I'm logged in as admin here. I'm gonna go to more and there's an admin under Des Destiny Discover as well. So there's an admin in Destiny Discover, there's an admin in Destiny Classic. I'm gonna go to display option featured content, and this is where you go to control what you want your page to look like, okay? So the learning resources right here, you click the little pen. This one right here at the bottom, there's an issue with it and they're working on that and it's supposed to get fixed today, actually. There was an update going on today. So this is your page where you would go here, add link, you're, gonna, you're going to download one of those image, all right? You're gonna upload it here, put the display, you could make it smaller or bigger, okay? And then you put the link, so if it's Britannica, uh, yeah, you put this Britannica link and then description and click add link. And then from there, the link appears on the main page. I'm just gonna quickly tell you that all that I'm saying right now is also on our OLMS Google site under Destiny and Discover, okay? So there's there are description as there. There's also these widgets. So more, if you go here, it's called widget. So what is a widget? I'm gonna actually show you. And this is all to promote or to make a destiny accessible to everyone as fast as possible. So if you do have a Google site or it's also fe feasible in Canvas because I tried yesterday, you can add this widget here, the search file at destiny widget. And what it does is if you have it on your Google website, it brings them right into Destiny Discover with their search for your library. So to get this is super simple. You just go to the widget factory here after you, you're logged in. So you see it's this professional library widget. So you wanna make sure it's your library. And you just click customize and get code. And you, all you need to do is copy and paste this HTML into your um, Google site. And um, now, Noravia, you don't need to redo it. It's, you still have them. Just make sure they're all there, okay? And remove the ones that we're losing too, because I'm going to get to that. We are going to lose some of the databases. Um, just to mention that uh, there is a Destiny Discover app, which looks exactly, I think that was their goal. It looks exactly that the Destiny Discover on the website. So just uh, look at it. I think, yes, I did here. If you go to the Destiny Discover app link that I have, you can just go here and it tells you all of their apps, but um, it's this one when you look on your phone, it looks like this and then you have access. You connect to your library and then your kids have access to your library on their phone as well. Finally, they also have a Destiny Google Chrome extension. Uh, so what is that? 
And that's going to be super quick because I pointed out to them two weeks ago that it does not work right now. I think when they did the Destiny Discover update, it broke the link. But this is it right here. So what happens is if you look for polar bear, when it's going to work, and it will work, it used to, it will bring resources from your library in this little bar right here. Just like the teachingbooks.net that I installed here as well, an extension, it's going to do the same thing for your Destiny Discover. All right, so that is it. I'm going to move. We're going to have a question coming. So everybody's ready with their phone. And the question one, okay, everybody's here. Oh, that way. Yep, yeah, I'm going to wait because I'm a little bit short. We're supposed, there's 30 of us, so we should be able to see a bit more people. So we're ready. There's going to be a question. And the faster you answer, the better. Sorry, it's a little small here. So the first one is library policies, patron types, use destiny discover by default. You can go to the second one is access levels, patron use destiny discover, or site config. All right, so it actually is number two. It's access level, patron. Use Destiny Discover by default, okay? So now we're going to see. Oh, I like the Barefoot Contessa. She makes good food. All right, so she is, I'm going to say she could be a he, but. All right, so features of Destiny Discover. I'm going to go back to it. So it's super easy to share library resources with permalink and QR code, which is one of the strength, I think, of this, the Destiny Discover. So I'm, go, I'm gonna go here and you guys, I think I wanted to share this core values and school librarianship with, with you. I just clicked on it. And at the, uh, actually, yeah. And at that three dots, I click share and it brings me a QR code or a URL. You can also export the titles with uh, details to your Google Classroom. So if you easy to want to share something with your students, a specific book with your students, I think Destiny Discover is great. So I think you can do it from here too. No. So yeah, that's kind of weird. So you do have to click the book and then the three dots and then you click share. Uh, the carousels. Okay. Let's see so uh, somebody needs to mute themselves. I'm going to mute you, Sharon, okay? All right, so the carousels are these things here. So you have control of what this, what this looks like. So how do we do this? I'm going to go again, remember, on the Destiny Discover Admin, not the classic. I'm going to click here, Display Options, and Featured Content. So there are two carousels that you have control over. This one, the one that says custom. So I'm going to click on the pen. And I just called it back to school collection. So you need to name your collection. Your, yeah, your carousel. Or I call it collection here. But you can name it if you're doing a horror carousel or uh, whatever carousel. You just name it here and then click OK. There's also the other one you have control over is topics here, which is new. If you go to topics, you can click add a blank topic. You select an image. Okay, I'm going to do the bear here. And you enter. I, I'm not going to have any hit on my library, so I'm going to do reading. You do a search. And then any book that you have in your library that has reading as a subject will get added to this carousel. So I'm gonna go back to Destiny Discover and let's see one that I don't have. So I'm, I have two carousels. So I have my back to school and I have my reading. The reading, oh, I might have to log out, but I'm gonna go to brief counseling here, click this and you see where it says add to carousel and you just click add to carousel and is going to be added to my back to school collection. For the topics, my guess is I need to log out because they do like to do that. Sorry. Log out. 
Okay, so here you see I added this book. And hopefully, yes, I have my reading here. Let's click on it. And if it worked, and it did work, I've added all my reading books are automatically put under this tab. You can also do book reviews. That is really um, old news, really, but I want to show you again. So I know somebody checked this out. So I'm gonna, can we do reviews here? Oh, no. So that is one that you, you need to be logged in as a person. So I'm sorry. That's what I mean that you have, there's a lot of login and logging out. So I'm gonna log in as myself a patron. So your students would log in as themselves. And then I'm gonna go here and it is not here either. Oh yeah, I need to click detail, sorry. There's a lot of click. And then you click add review. So I'm gonna click add review. Then you can start it and this is a great book. And then you click submit review. So after that, sorry, I have to log out. It is not automatically posted. I'm gonna log in as admin. It is also in your Destiny Classic, but I'm gonna show you right here. I'm gonna to go to more admin and then reviews. And then you will, I, I was testing it here, but this is the book. This is a great book right here. You can approve and you can also edit if there's typos and stuff. So fun little activities for your student if you want. Um, one search. I don't think this has been used uh, very much by us, but it's also a great- Because um, we can't. Yes. Excuse me, Kat. Did you, did you say that you could approve it first before it's posted to yes, your Yes, it has to be approved. Oh, okay. So you're going to have to log in. You'll probably see that if you're in Destiny Classic, you'll see that little flag. And then you can click reviews and then you'll have to approve it. Okay. And nothing, nothing's going to be posted before that. All right. All right. Oh, yeah. Actually, let me search something else here. Uh, so what OneSearch does, it, it looks at all of our databases. Oh, did I misspell it? Oh, it's under databases. And that was a long time ago. We talked a lot about OneSearch and it kind of you know, went away, but um, it is there. So it's looking at all of our databases. And I've added Abdo because I didn't know I could. And it's right here. All you need to do is click Abdo and it brings you to the book. So I'm just gonna show you a quick refresher on how to add to OneSearch. So if you go to catalog, search setup, and it's right under enri enriched, sorry, content searches, and it's OneSearch database information right here. So you click edit, and you can add the free ones if you like. But so all I did here is I clicked add databases and it's not working, come on. And then you can select databases. And of course you can't add everything, anything that we don't have access to, okay? Actually newspapers, I don't, I don't know if we have access now. But so you have to kind of look there, some of them are free and you can um, add them if you like. But I added the Abdo one, I'm just gonna, because I don't think any of us has that one. And I just put username PGCPS, password PGCPS. I made it available to everyone. I always test it to make sure it's working and then save. And from then on, when you do a search, I'm going to also show you under catalog here. Under one search here, it pops up. All right. So it's kind of the same on Destiny Discover and. Um, um, Destiny Classic. Then I'm going to show you self-checkout. So I know some of you are worried about checking out. So you can set it up with self and self, okay? So you're seeing self here. The password is self as well. So if you have a self-checkout sta station set up, it will stay live for 480 minutes, which is a full day worth of, of checking out. From here, 
if you have your station set up, a student can, and I'm, I, I don't know if you can see, oh yeah, somewhat. I'm going to scan my barcode. So here's my student, and then they can check out a book to themselves. Because remember, Destiny knows that a student barcode versus a book barcode, all right? So if you have a, a self-checkout station, you don't, and the kid that can check, scan their own student barcode, and then and scan a book, and then you don't have to touch any books that the kids are checking out, all right? So remember, you just, you're gonna set up a station, you click log in, username self, password self. Everybody has the same thing. Um, it, they stay live for about 60 seconds. So a student information is gonna stay up for 60 seconds. Uh, and again, for, I'm gonna show you here, because of COVID, and if you check out, when you check in a book, I did it yesterday. I'm going to go to copy status here. I have set up a quarantine for seven days. So when a book is checked in, you see, you see the status here, it says in quarantine, it will be in quarantine for seven days. So that you should put that book aside and you won't be able to check it out for seven days. You can opt out of that if you like, okay? So if you want to opt out, admin, site config, uh, circulation, I'm sorry, wrong one. And you can opt out of district auto quarantine. So then you're going to check in a book and it's going to be back to normal. All right, next question, you guys, where everybody's ready? Uh, no, Kat, there was yeah. an excellent point in the comment. Oh. I actually purchased a scanner a couple years ago and you said, I wish I didn't because you guys have some. So are there extra scanners there at Bonnie John's? Now we can land you one, but ultimately okay. you need to get to get your own. Yeah. Okay. That, okay. So yeah, Thank sorry. You. Yeah, I just um, yeah, Miss White. Um, yeah, like I said, they're only two hundred. Well, I should say only, but they are just two hundred dollars. So, can you make a suggestion of which one we should purchase that is absolutely compatible, or are they just all compatible? Like this. Okay. Just email me. I'll send it to you. And um, let me remove my my stupid virtual background here. Can I just, just do none? Oh, all right. So yeah, just get the same one. It is the 5100. Okay, and because we're a customer, if you go to their shop, it's 250, but if you just log in, it's only $200. So I can send you that information. But I would say definitely you just get that one. And is there monies, I mean, we have to go to our principal or principal all righty good luck Thank yeah you. yeah good luck but i mean it's yeah so if you want a second one for self-checkout yes it would be on you guys sorry about that all right so we're at question two of four easy question on that one okay let's start there it goes Somewhat of a trick question here. So the right answer is two. All right. So you can create the custom one and you can create the topic one. All right, so now I'm gonna jump quickly to collection. We had a really good training last year on collection, but um, so collection is again in Destiny Discover and I'm logged in as site admin, so everything is good. So collection are these. So you have control of what's gonna appear again on the future content of what you wanna see. And you can add books, you can add website, you can add videos, you can add whatever you want. So what is, how you do you do that is you have this add to collection. I don't know if you see it at the top here. That is, you can uh, add to your computer and then any page that you're looking at. So let's see, I want to add polar bear Wikipedia to a collection. I'm on the page and I click add to collection. So is that, I'm not logged in here, but um, let me do it. Professional. 
you're only going to have to do this once. And then at this point, you name you name your page, and then you uh, I have a bunch of different collections, so you can add it to any of your collection. And from then on, when a kid looks at a specific collection, see all here in this back to school collection, and I've just been adding some whatever here, they would get to see it. I only use books, but like I said before, um, it's a great, great way to add Sora's books because um, some, well, not some. I Last year, the people that have bought Sora's book know uh, the ones that are temporary, like a year or two years, I did not add mark records into your catalog, but if you want everybody to read a specific book or want to promote a book, you just click on the book and add to a collection and then you can create a collection real quick of Sora's book, books. And then it's super easy to, um, to share. Another great thing, and I'm gonna, hopefully it's gonna work. Collection I think is super slow to me, but um, so these are the ones I've created. There's a bunch in Prince George's County and there's 12,000 I think in public collections. So I'm gonna try just this one because the public collection is too much. And you'll see, if, I pretend I'm in public collection, which is too many, but you can click this little filter here and then you can filter it down. So let's, I'm, I know it's mostly high school. So I'm gonna do 10th grade and then view results. So these are the 10th grades and you can, let me select this one. You can follow a person and you can also, I don't, I'd have to log in as a person here. You can also share it. Usually, usually there's a quick share and there's this report abuse, okay? Because I know there was one school yet last year that the kid made a collection and there were some sites that were not um, appropriate. So you can now report an abuse. How do you, give permission to your students to create a collection or not. If you go to collection policies under Destiny Discover Admin, right here, and this is where you decide who's got the rights to do what. So our students, most of you right now have, can create a private collection, but they can also post their collection. So if you don't want them to be able to post, you're gonna uncheck that. And here you will put your name. So if somebody, another student, another teacher report an abuse, you will get an email and then you will be, as the admin, you will be able to go and delete that website or whatever that is not appropriate. All right, so that is under collection policies under the admin. All right, um, oh, and also if you do like a really good collection, let me see, you can copy it too. So instead of you reinventing the wheel, you are in collection in um, public, collection, the big ones, and you really like something, you just make a copy, all right? And then you can change it as you want, okay? Because at that point it becomes yours and you can do whatever you want with it. Yes, I, I am going, I'm always going too fast. Thank you, Dorothy. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, just rewatch and uh, later. And then you can slow me down. So I'm gonna go back to my Manti and another question is coming and that's a super easy question. So everybody's ready. So that's a true or false question. Can you duplicate any public collection? And that is true. Okay, you can just make a copy and change it as you wish. So there's only one more question after this, you guys. So Sora, um, I never thought about it, but you guys, even though you have not purchased any book, if your school has not purchased any Sora books, you still have access, all right? So I highly encourage, we've spent a lot of money as the district into Sora please go in there and push your students to go in there. Everybody has access, even though your school has not purchased. All the schools at this point, any book they've bought are in Sora for everyone to use, okay? I've done some stats and it's worth doing. 
You can also create a curated lists for your schools. And if you don't remember or have never logged in into your marketplace, you just email me and I will give you use, username and password, okay? So you can go here and then if that you would have to have bought, actually, maybe not. You can create a list. So I have an anti-racist reading list here. You can create your own list. So if you go to overdrive and go to curate, and then from there, I always look at their, direct, their direction on their standard curation. There's learn more about curation and it gives you step-by-steps -step on how to create a list. And then when your students log in into Sora, they will get to see your list, okay, for your school that you've created. So again, another great tool and I, it's super easy to share. If you go here and I wanna share this whole list, I just go here, copy the URL and share it through my Google Classroom or I've shared it with, on Twitter or whatever. Also, if you don't know on Chrome, you have this little button here on the right, top right, you click here and it also gives you a QR code and that works for every page that you're on in Chrome, okay? Um, the marketplace also has a bunch of different uh, curriculum that can uh, support things. So I'm under support overdrive resource center. They have a lot of resources to advertise and there's lesson plans in there and they are coloring sheets. So just for ways for you guys to promote Sora and the content. Like I said, we spent a whole bunch of money there. Okay, if you, and Barbara, if your teachers don't like Sora, um, I don't know what to say to that because it's a great app. I would say, uh, ask them what kind of books they like and maybe uh, try find to get, uh, if I think if they read one book, they'll, they'll get, they'll catch on. I don't know. Um, I'm a huge fan, so. Also, if you are interested in being part of a book purchasing cohort. So I was talking to different people in different counties. And uh, as I said, your collections are being shared. So there's no point of, you know, Beacon Heights to buy uh, ghosts and then this other Cooper Lane to buy ghosts too. So if you are interested to make, to be part of a group of people that would actually match their collection, their uh, purchase through Sora. If you're going to buy through Sora, please just join this. I will also post it. Uh, but there's, there's no reason to buy the same book multiple times from different schools because you all have access to them. So if you want to be part of a cohort that are going to agree, okay, I'm buying this book, I'm buying this book, so you don't have to buy it, then please just uh, sign up and I'll make sure to match you up. All right, miscellaneous. Uh, Tidal Wave Now and Mackin both have setting for diversity analysis. And if when you're going to watch the, um, the vendors videos, you will see Mackin is talking about theirs. I'm going to sign it as your as mine. So if you use, and we all have our title wise analysis done, but what it does is it shows the diversity in your collection. So explore diverse title by topic. So now you can, you have an idea of the different diversity that, and maybe you need some different ones. So this is my collection. So it's not a real school, but uh, all you need to do is log in into Tidal Wave and uh, it, you set it up. And then from there you have your diversity analysis of your collection. So that's really cool. Um, update and databases. Okay, so now Libby has magazine, the great course, Quello and artists. So this is the public library and they've uh, got rid of RB Digital. And, and under Libby now you have the music, the indie flicks, you have the concerts and you have the great courses. If you never check that out, you should. All right, so that is now right under Libby. Um, we're going to say goodbye to um, science fix is gone as well as watch and learn is gone. Okay. We, our budget was cut and those are the two that were not being used. A reminder about brain fuse. That is a tutoring, uh, oops, wrong oh. one. Tutoring. So online library, online resources, public library. And I'm going to scroll down to brain fuse here. If you have not told your students, please tell them brain fuse help now is 
from two to midnight, seven days a week. It's good from pre from kindergarten all the way to college, life tutoring right here. They can select their grade, they can select the subject, and then they get live help. Okay, so a super great resource that all of our students should know about. The Maryland Deaf Culture Digital Library now has their own library. I mean, that's not gonna affect many of you guys, but it's worth knowing. Book sign language, but about the deaf culture and all that stuff. So that's kind of cool. As well as, oh, the New York Times. So the, the New York Times we have through November, 2022 for free, okay? So all your teachers need to do, if you go to a list of usernames and passwords up here, and unfortunately, it's just the teachers because the confirmation email the students can't get, which I try to change that, but hey. So the New York Times, they go over here, New York Times slash passes, they use their county, uh, county email, they get a confirmation and voila, they have access to the New York Times for free for till next year, okay? So please make sure all of our teachers sign up. It's a great resource. And um, the Washington Post, we because some teachers prefer the Washington Post, they, it, it's through the public library. So that you need to renew every three days. Okay, it's not the best, but it's okay. Another last thing about Overdrive and Libby, which is fantastic, is they now have magazines. So they have 3,500, I think they ought to. And you go here. I'm going to just go to the kids here. Uh, where is it? family, kids, and teens, there's 70 different magazines that you can download. And it's as easy as clicking borrow. And here's your public library card, sign in, and then you're going to have access to this book. I'm going to click borrow. And here, not the book, but a magazine. So please take the time. Like I said, there's 3,500 different magazines. There are 70 different. National Geographic is there for the kids. There's Times for Kids highlights. Uh, so much in Minecraft. So please show your students, okay? So not all students like to read books. So magazines are a great options. And finally, I don't know how I did this, but um, we got Ancestry, K12, Fold3, and newspaper.com for free as well, only on the network. Okay, I this happened last week, so I don't know how to use it. If you go to YouTube, on my uh, resource page that I created for you, there's a uh, YouTube videos on how to use it, okay? But it's research for your ancestry. So it's mostly older students, really. If your teachers don't know about the New York Times learning. Yeah. Yes. Does the password page auto update? Oh, yeah, it's a it's a Google Doc. So when something changes, I update it. So like EBSCOhost is going to be updated by the end of the right. school year. Yes. So it's auto update as long as I do it. No, what I did was I did a screenshot and added as long as you do it. So every person I sent it out to, it's going to automatically update them or I need to resend it out. Well, if you send them the link instead of a screenshot, then it will it will be updated for them as well. It was well. a part of a presentation. Yes. It was a part of a presentation, and I attached the passwords to it. So, but you you just add, you just added the link, right? So, does that auto update? Because yes, was a it will it will. As long as you okay. give them the link, I'm not sure I understand you, but as long as you give them the link to the Google Doc, when I change the Google Doc, it will change for them too. They will get the new stuff. All right. All right. So the Learning Network, Network by the New York Times, if you can subscribe and I want to speed up. I need to speed up a little bit so I won't waste time here, but such a great resource, you guys. You have to go and see it. There's contests and quizzes. The kids can win things. They can get published. Super awesome resource, all right? So this is the last question that's going to decide the winner. So everybody's ready here. And which databases don't we have access to this upcoming year? So there's two answers on that one. All 
All right, that's it. Scholastic and Science Flex. No, tumble books for keeping, so I'm pretty happy about that. Now we're going to see who the winner is. So let's see here. Oh, Janie Cobb. All right, Janie. So you won yourself uh, 100 bucks, I think. Woohoo! All right. Awesome. Let me write your name here. All right. Now, uh, that's what I folk. Well, this summer I discovered TikTok, you guys. It is so freaking awesome. But what is really, really awesome is that there's a huge, huge library um, following there, uh, including Book Talk. So I'm going to, I attended um, a three part webinar. Let's see if it's going to come up. And it's again, it's under my resources here. I have session one, two, three. I know you're probably so web web webinared out, but it was really the best, best webinars I've heard. And this is what she does. She's a, a high school librarian and she does TikToks. Let's see if it's going to work here. Let's see. It worked yesterday. But um, there's an, I have also plugged in an article. Um, I forget what it's called. Book talk make, makes people cry. All right, here's one. Okay. So that's it. So it's a 15 second uh, TikTok. Um, I encourage you to go and check it out. And um, I know I, I feel like I'm too old for TikTok, but um, I think it's super important to go where our students are and they are there. Okay. And like I said, there's, um, if you go, if you go to TikTok and search for book talk, T O K, you will see there's a lot of kids out there reading and encouraging other kids to read and they're showing them what to read and what they're reading. And it's just really incredible. The only thing you need to be careful, I think, is the algorithm is super sensitive. So anything you like, or if you watch or rewatch a video, they'll just feed you more of that. So if you look at, like I watch a couple of cats videos and I'm getting a lot of cats videos now. So I am super not comfortable recording myself, but I've been pushing myself to try it. And it's super easy to do. And uh, like I said, that's where our kids are. So it's important to be there. So I use that. Um, Twitter, again, super big uh, community of librarians. There's library, uh, I forget what they're called, a Twitter library family or whatever. But this is just an example here that was posted on my Twitter. Uh, so definitely worth, it's not just uh, trash, it's a lot of great professional information out there. There was this summer, there was, this, I think I pasted it. There's, there was a great, yes, discussion. I don't know if you're seeing here on the left, um, somebody posted, they read in their library and threw the books in a, in a bin. And it, it just created this huge conversation about reading. My, it made me feel good. And so that's what I'm gonna end on. So why don't you read? So, here, um, I think on your phone, you should have that page where you can answer that. So why don't you weed? I don't have time to weed. Someone uh, may need this in the future, or I can't decide what fiction is outdated. This is a good book. I remember when I bought it 10 years ago. So let's see here why, and this is anonymous. So you can just please tell me why don't you weed. But um, again, I'm going to go back to Twitter. If it's just they had such a great conversation about reading and um, highly encourage. I don't spend much time on social media. It's, I would say probably 10 minutes on TikTok and 10 minutes on Twitter just to just quickly scroll. And I get a lot of great ideas. So, yeah, I don't have time to read. OK. Catherine, can I ask a question? Of course. Go ahead. Oh, where's your presentation? How can we access it? I will, I will, I will give you all that at the end. Okay. Okay. So yes, time is a big, big problem. Uh, I would, again, I would suggest uh, do a little bit at the time. Uh, don't go in, in this way. Teachers don't even notice as well. Okay. So if you do a little bit at the time, 
it's not be going not going to be noticeable. Fiction is really a tough one, but um, really, if you read reread books that were purchased in the '90s, you will see how much outdated. I'm reading right now a book that was written in the '90s, and it is horrible. It's just so anti-sexist. It is. It's just horrible. And I'm like, you know, the book cover looks good. And I'm thinking, oh, I could keep that, but no. All right. So it's worth um, looking into your fiction and reading it. Uh, so, and, Kat. Yes. So the expectation is that we are reading beyond what we're expected to do for this Maryland State Report. Well, I mean, to me, I would, um, I, I think it's Calvert County as a 5% of your collection should be weeded every year. And I like that. So 5% is not that much. And um, I think it needs to be done because every time I go to school, especially elementary schools, and we're seeing on the shelves, um, state books from the 90s, it's just, it hurts me, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. Just well, one of, the, one of the major problems is that for some, well, in my instance, um, the only budget that we get yeah, is the budget from the media department and whatever we get from Scholastic. Correct. Um, but I think I think what's important to there is that you really need to maybe rely a bit more on a database, like all the reference, I would say in most schools can be thrown out. Well, not thrown out, but recycled because it is just old information. Like I'm saying, I, I would not give my kid a nine, 1995 book from Maryland, a state book of Maryland, because all the information is outdated. So you're much better off sending them to Culture Brown. So okay. I totally agree. Yes, we are short on money. Yeah, it's, I, it's very sad, but yeah. Go ahead. I agree with you, but when you do that, one of my libraries looks very sparse. Even though yeah. I've purchased, honestly, it looks very sparse. So then they're like, so what do we need the library for? Can we use it for this, that, and the other? So that's why I think some of us are a little hesitant to truly weed our collection. Because to the principals and admin, a full library, even if it's outdated, looks better than a, a naked library because they don't have a clue or a concept. Mm -hmm. So maybe you could do a training with admin about weeding and what a library should look like and hold in it, especially okay. if we're talking about being 21st century. I mean, I would say Barbara and something like that, I would take those old books and display them. And I just open the, and just display, open the pages and say, is that what you want your kids to look at? You know, they're all yellow, they're old, they're, they stink, most of them really. And I mean, yeah, I agree with you. Like I know which library you're talking about. It looks sparse, but at the same time, when they walk in and see like packed shelves, even if it's old stuff, they're like, oh, they don't need books. They have books. I mean, I, that's why it was so interesting, this reading conversation they had this summer, because this is not just us. I mean, this is countrywide people are just like don't get rid of books no matter what which is we all know it's super ridiculous so so we have a minute this is my last question <laughs> question please uh this is for just my uh, well-being what how do you feel about this presentation and i'm going to pick up my phone one second Oh, I'm glad I'm glad I'm not getting any puking ones. So um, that is all for me. It's 925. You guys, you stay put. I um, should be able to get out of here. And then you guys, uh, somebody else. I don't know who's coming after me. But thank you. You were great. Thanks. And I will answer all the chat questions. Okay, so no, don't be concerned with that. Thank 